Okay, we just left Tonopah, Nevada. And that bright thing out in the distance is like a mirror tower directing sunlight to solar panels. Kind of cool. So, as you can see, still desert. And we are heading to the California border and I believe our next stop is going to be a place called Mono Lake and uh, where else? Well, I think that's it and we'll see what time of day it is by the time we get there and then if we still have daylight driving we're, we're rested enough to keep going then we will go on up to uh, what's the name of the forest? Yosemite. Um, Yosemite. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, we're in California now, 120 West. Uh, we left a little town called Benton. Ate some hamburgers there, which were really good hamburgers and onion rings. And now we're headed towards, I guess they call it the Eastern Gate to Yosemite. So, it's still kind of sagebrush. Um, we passed some juniper areas and we're going to try to get a little closer to Mono Lake and get to some juniper areas and see if we can find some free dispersed camping. So stay tuned. <laughs> this is our very cool shower. <laughs> and the important thing. Oh, the, the wine, wine, the whiskey, yeah. And, and what? The shower. The shower. See the hanging bag of water? It actually works really well. So now I'm going to show you our 360 degree view. <laughs> and the really cool thing is you probably can't see it, but down where that car is, there's about 20 wild horses. And so as we go around, this is the road 120 west that takes us to Yosemite. We're getting ready to witness a beautiful sunset. We keep seeing horse tracks, so we're assuming it's the wild horses that have been up here. We may have visitors tonight. So this is how it looks. We just have a gorgeous campsite. It's not too far from the paved road. One of the joys of van camping is that you can get up to a place like this, what you can't do in an RV. So we'll see you soon. Okay. This little road is really soft, kind of sandy dirt, decomposed granite or something. This is a nice part about having the van and the all-terrain tires. Got good traction. Came up here. Got us a nice little camp away from the road. Beautiful view of the valley down below. There's wild horses down there. Um, we've been watching them through the binoculars. But this is it. And this is the east side of the Sierra Nevadas. Tomorrow morning we're going to head on up to the lake and uh, keep on going, but isn't this pretty? You guys got to get out here and check out these spots. I don't know if you guys can see down behind me the juniper tree that's kind of directly behind me. The wild horses are right behind that. I know the GoPro don't zoom, but maybe you might be able to see it. But I am very happy. I am really happy on a road trip. I love my new van. I love where it's taken my wife and I and the experiences we're having. This is just cool. And I love having you guys along with me. So stay tuned. See you out there on the road. Okay. Little bed's ready. I got to move some of that uh, window foil out of the way, but her bed will be ready for tonight. I'm just letting the van run while we charge our batteries on the cell phones. And the thing my wife and I just noticed is it's a full moon tonight. I don't know if you can see it coming over those mountains, 
but there's a full moon and she's saying there's a lunar eclipse so well the horses just spotted me too down here and they're like whoo there's humans up there <laughs>